Hey guys, welcome to our channel IAC Steno. I am Ms. Danvi, your shorthand instructor, and I'm really happy to announce that we are starting this lecture series of shorthand in English. Earlier our series was in Hindi and many students were facing problem in understanding the course so they commented that ma'am please make the videos in English so we have decided to start up shorthand again in English so that it's easier for you to understand so we would be doing this from the basic level first thing that is going to be done is the topic consonants as you can see on the screen things that are to be covered in this video are first is shorthand what is shorthand as you all know shorthand is a language that is used to write things in short okay secondly what are consonants consonants are basically your strokes either you can tell them as strokes or letters that are used to form a word third direction of consonants uh, by the word direction we mean that either the stroke is a downward stroke it's an upward stroke Downward over here means that the direction of the stroke would be downward like this and upward mean direction would be like this Okay, and the other two things are uh, horizontal stroke And curve stroke we would be doing this in detail Next thing that is coming is a light stroke and a dark stroke whether you have to press the pencil hard or either you have to keep your hand light so we would be seeing that which stroke is made light, which stroke is dark. Fifth, sound of stroke with example. I would be telling you about the letters like the sound P, B, CH. CH is pronounced as J. We would be doing that. Next is stroke representation through diagram. I would be making diagram for you and I would be explaining through diagram the angles of the strokes and what are the direction of the strokes. I hope this is clear to you. And in case you have any doubt, you can contact us on our telegram channel or you can comment uh, below the video. Okay, so let us begin. And secondly, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe so that you can get all the updates. And please do not forget to press the bell icon so that you can get all the information regarding the videos. So let us begin with the first topic consonants. Consonants are also known as strokes. First of all, in English, as you know, there are 26 consonants. In English, 26 consonants. And including 5 vowels. But in shorthand, there are 26 consonants and 12 vowels. The 12 vowels that are there are excluding, but in English, it's including. That means, like you say A, E, I, O, U, that is included in the alphabetical series of 26 consonants, but in shorthand, 12 vowels are excluded. Apart from the 26 consonants, there are 12 vowels. Okay, so let us begin with the consonant part. Now write down the heading downward stroke. This is the first section of consonant. The first section is downward stroke. The first alphabet that is coming is P. P is light. That means it's slightly sounded and you have to make the stroke bit light okay and this would be made like this P this is the direction okay I'll just make an arrow for the direction this is P this is light okay next that is coming is alphabet is B B is dark just make it like this a darker one than the previous one okay this is B letter this is the direction it should be on the line and this is the size of the stroke okay next that is coming is T T alphabet T is light it is just made like one you make like this a straight line this is T alphabet okay now let us see the next stroke 
Next stroke that is coming is D. D is dark. This is like this, a darker version of T. I have made the arrow for the direction. You do not, uh, you do not need to make the arrow. Just make the line. Okay. This is D. Next stroke, that is C H. C H is light. Make it like this, a slant line. This is C H. And the last stroke that is coming is J. J is dark. A darker form of C H. C H is also pronounced as J. Example: chair, charm. Okay. The next is J. J is dark. This is J alphabet. Okay. Now I'll explain this through a diagram so that it's more clear. Now make a circle. Make it like this. P alphabet is made in this direction, so you can see through this one. This is P alphabet. This direction, okay? This part of circle. Next is B. Same thing. It's a darker version of P. So when P and B are represented through this. Next part is coming is T alphabet. T is just a straight line at 90 degree angle. So this is T and D. Okay. Next is C H and J. This is this part. C H and dark one is J. I hope this is clear. Okay. So this is the first part, downward stroke. Now we are proceeding to the next stroke, that is horizontal strokes. Horizontal strokes. These strokes are usually made on the line. Okay. So first letter that is coming is K alphabet. K is light. It's usually made a bit above the line. Okay. It's like this. Just above the line. Bit above. Not totally above. Bit above. This is K and direction is in this way. K. Okay. Next is G. G is dark and pronounced as gay. Like for example, the word game, gate, the words giving the sound of gay. So we have to make G for that. Okay. So G is similar to K, a darker version of it. It is on the line. This is G. Okay. Next that is coming is M letter. M is light. This is made like this. Next alphabet is N. So next is N. N is light. It's made like this. I'll explain it through a diagram. N. And last alphabet is ng. Ng is dark. Pronounced as ing, like the word play ing, say ing. It's a giving sound of ing. So this is ng, a darker one, form of n. Direction is like this. Now I'll explain this through a diagram. See, make a circle. So, this part is K, a light one and similarly same thing, a darker one is G, this is G, okay. Next is M, M is this part, this above part, above hemisphere, this is M. Direction is in this way, okay. Just make sure you know the direction, this is this way. Next is N, the downward part, this is N. And similarly NG is there. NG is same thing. The dark one is NG. This is NG. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now we would be proceeding to the next stroke. So the next stroke is curve stroke.
as the name suggests the strokes are made in curved direction so the first alphabet that is coming is f f is light this is made from this circle this part a light one this is f okay so you have you are going to make this in a light so this is f similarly next alphabet that is coming is v v is dark same stroke as mentioned above f a darker uh, form of f this is v this is v okay direction is in downward form next stroke is th next stroke that is coming is th that is pronounced as it this is a light stroke sound is i t h it okay so this is taken from a circle this part this is t h okay so make it like this next alphabet that is coming is d t h w e a darker version of it darker form of t h press the pencil hard to make it a darker one th okay direction is like this next alphabet that is coming is s s is light and it's opposite of th okay this part is th this side okay left side was d it and d right side is s and z that is coming so s is light like this next stroke that is coming is z z is dark a darker form of s this is z i have made the arrows for the direction please do not make the arrows just make the uh, strokes and i hope this is clear to you all and you are getting the strokes okay and in case you having some doubt please do ask me in the comment box okay so next stroke is sh now i'll make one more circle for for you now see sh is this part f was this this side was f and v this side is sh and zh okay so you are going to make it like this sh and the last stroke zh zh is z dark darker form like this next stroke that is coming is your upward stroke this is the last section upward stroke the first alphabet that is coming in upward stroke is w w is light pronounced as w a y w a y w a y it is made like this it's a tick okay now next stroke is y y is also light pronounced as y a y a y y a y alphabet is used in yellow yolk these are some examples and for w like weight way okay now for y just have a look over here just carefully look at the stroke and the direction okay see just make a slanting line like this and then connect it over here like this straight up okay this is y a slant line and up slant line and up just make sure that you are making it from below and then going to upward okay y 
This is quite similar to W. It's opposite of W. Okay, if you can see it. Next thing that is coming is H. H alphabet is written in two ways. First is your upward H. Second is your downward H. H is also pronounced as H. H A Y H. In few words, you are going to use the upward H. I would be telling you, and in few words, downward H. Okay. So let us see the first upward H. Now see, it's just like a slanting six. circle and like this up circle and up circle and up okay then is h down it's like a slanting 9 like this h down like this okay it's quite easy now the next letter that is coming is r r is also written in two ways R. It's written in two ways. First is R, R up, pronounced as R, and second is A R down. That is coming. It's give uh, it gives the sound of A R only, R sound basically. So in R, as you can see, it's just made uh, made like a ray, ray of light basically, like this. Make it from below to above, okay? As this is an upward stroke, so it would be going from downward to upward. Ray. Don't get confused with the CH part. I'm explaining it again. See, uh, this is a 90 degree angle. CH was like this. From above, it was going down. This was CH down stroke. Ray is upward stroke. From below, it's going to upward direction. This is ray, and the angle of elevation is also very less. Okay, as you can see. So this is the difference between CH and ray. Many students get confused in the CH part and the ray part. Due to the angles, okay, but just make it like this. See the difference that angle of elevation of ray is less and CH is more. Plus CH is a downward stroke. It's coming from above to down over here, and ray is coming from below to up. This is the difference, okay. Now the next thing that is coming is L. L is a light stroke. It is made from this circle. This was a circle. This part is L. This part is A R down, as I've told you. This is A R down, downward direction, and this is L. Okay. So you have to make it like this, L. So this was the last section. Yes, so this is complete, and uh, we have completed all the twenty-six uh, consonants or strokes. You can say, and please do practice these strokes because these are very important. Plus, practice the direction of the stroke because if you do not know the direction, then joining of strokes would not be possible, and that is the next topic after this video. Okay, so just practice all the strokes. Like which stroke belong to a downward stroke? I'm just writing it over here. Downward stroke. we have done in the first part downward stroke is p b t d j and j okay next was horizontal stroke horizontal strokes are k g m n and n g next one was curve stroke it was f v it d s Z, S H and Z H, and last one upward stroke. Upward strokes are W, Y, H up, H down, R up, R down, and L. Okay, so you should be knowing that P is belonging to downward, K is of horizontal, F belongs to curve. This should be on your tip. Okay. so practice this really well so that you don't have problem in the next topic joining of strokes and if you have any doubt you can contact us by making the comment below 
and or either you can send the message on the telegram group also that would be visible to you in some time okay thank you so much